Welcome back, Busy Bees. Today we will be doing some interactive writing. Interactive writing means that we will write a few sentences together. So today we are going to remember to use our ear for words that you don't know how to spell. We are going to remember to use our high frequency words. Remember, high frequency words are words that we memorize and must be spelled correctly. Also remember to use your sentence skills. We always start with a capital. We have space fingers in between our words and we always end with a period or other punctuation, like an exclamation mark or a question mark. Say, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, let's review. What are naming words? Yes, naming words are, is another way of saying nouns. Can you go ahead and say nouns? Good. And nouns are the names of people. So who is this noun right here? Yes, I am your teacher. So a teacher is a person, a people. So I, my naming word would be teacher. I'm a noun. Okay, what else is a noun? A place is a noun. What place is this? Yes, that's a farm. So a farm is also a noun, a place. And things, what is this? This is a bell. So the naming word for this or the noun word for this is a bell. Um, also animals are part of nouns. So if you see um, this by itself, it would be a horse, the naming word for it. So remember that nouns are the names of places, people, things, or animals. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and write our favorite room. Rooms, that's gonna be the title of our writing. Our favorite rooms. That's a capital. Our favorite rooms is the title of our writing. Now, hmm. What is your favorite room in your house? Which room do you just absolutely love to go in? My favorite room in the house would be the kitchen. That is one of my favorite rooms. So I'm gonna say, Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and write that. I'm gonna write my name because I'm the one saying the, the sentence, it's my idea. So I'm gonna put my name. And then I'm gonna go ahead and write my sentence. So I know that my favorite room in the um, in my house is the kitchen. So I'm gonna think. Hmm. Miss Dulce likes the kitchen. So Miss Dulce, how do you go ahead and spell the word like? How would you do that? Who remembers? Go ahead and spell it with me. Ready? L I K E. That's like, but what if I want to say likes? What do you hear at the end? S. Very good. Likes. Miss Dulce likes the. Remember to do the space finger. And how do you spell the? It's one of your high frequency words this week. Very good. T H. E. Miss Dulce likes the. What do I do? 
I don't have any more room, so I'm gonna go down here. And remember, we start from top to bottom, left to right. So I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right. Miss Dusa likes the kitchen. Hmm, I don't know how to spell the word kitchen, so I'm gonna sound it out. Go ahead and help me. What is the first letter I need to write? Very good, it's the letter K. So I'm gonna go ahead and write K. K -i -ch -ch. Remember, that's the digraph. K -i -ch -ch. N, N, kitchen. And because I used my ear, I'm gonna go ahead and underline it so that when my teacher comes and looks at it, she can write the correct spelling on the bottom. Well, Ms. Dulce, you heard one, two, three, four sounds in the word kitchen. What a great ear. Remember, I want to know what your ear can hear. So what do we do at the end of a sentence? Hmm. Is this an asking sentence or is it a telling sentence? Miss Dulce likes the kitchen. Very good, it's a telling sentence. I am telling you what I like. So I'm going to use a period. Now I wanna know what is your favorite room in your house. So you're gonna start with your name and then you're going to tell me. So we're going to say, student likes the, and then you tell me what you like. So your name likes the, and then tell me what room you like to be in. And then don't forget your punctuation. And it's probably going to be a telling sentence because you're telling us what you like. So we can, for example, say, Nan likes the living room. Or you can say, Pat, sorry, Pat likes the bedroom because she can sleep there. Okay, so go ahead and write your telling sentence about your favorite room in your journal. Can't wait to read them.